After Effects can be very helpful when you want to track down missing fonts, missing effects, or missing assets, or footage as they call it. We're going to do all three in this lesson. We tracked down missing assets earlier in the course, but I want to remind you how to do that here. As you can see, we've got a few things on the desktop here that you do not have inside your Working Files folder, but I'm using them for demonstration purposes here. First of all, I want you to mess with the assets a little bit. So go to Working Files, go to Photo Spin Assets, and change the name of Abstract Waves to something besides Abstract Waves. I'm going to make it obvious by changing it to Changed. Now we're going to open up a project. So go to Working Files, go to After Effects Projects, and going down to the bottom here to Missing Fonts and Effects. Now three things are going to happen. First one, this project contains a reference to a missing effect. You need to install the following effect to restore this reference. It's a particular effect called BCC Watercolor from Boris FX. I'll click OK. Now it says it's missing a font. The font family Academy Engraved Let Plain. That's missing. OK. And now it says it's missing an asset. That's because we just changed the name of that one file. OK. And this is what you're going to see when you open it up. The missing asset becomes color bars inside your comp. It's also a color bars icon right here, a thumbnail. And will be a thumbnail over here in the project panel when you track it down. Now I put the assets and the comps inside folders here because that's the normal way that you work when you want to organize your workspace. It also concealed where some of these missing things are because I wanted to make it a little bit more difficult just to show you the normal process to track things down. Earlier in the course, I showed you how to re-link to unlinked assets, and they're all showing up here on the left-hand side with those little color bar icons. But here it's kind of tucked away a little bit. It's easy enough to find. I just open up assets, and lo and behold, there it is. But let's use the other method to track it down. And the way you track it down is by just typing in the search bar here. Type in missing, or just type in M, I, S, and pretty soon these guys are going to show up. Then you can find missing effects, fonts, and footage. We'll start off with footage, because that's the easiest one to work with here. I'll click on footage, and it shows me that, okay, this is the one thing that's missing. It'll track it down right away and show you the thing that's missing. So let's relink to that by just double-clicking on it, going to our working files, going to photo spin assets, and double-clicking on this. And that relinks to it under the new name. I can spread this out a bit. You can see the new name right there, changed like that. All right, that took care of that. Let's just back this up a little bit by backing to missing again. Let's track down missing fonts. So when I click on that, it'll show me the only thing that has the missing font. There are two text layers here, but only one has a missing font. If I double click on that, it shows me just this missing fonts file down here. That's because missing fonts shows up here and shows me only the things where there are missing fonts. That's the sample text. If I click on that, and go to the character panel, which I had open already, it shows me the name of the font. And it has square brackets around it, meaning that After Effects has replaced it with some default font. So to take care of that, you can either replace it with a font that you think is similar, or go get that font. Now in this case, this is called Academy Engraved Let Plain. So in this case, I just did a quick internet search and found that font online, which I could download for free. Now if I couldn't find that font, or if I wasn't willing to pay for it, I could then add in my search field something like replacement, and that would find fonts that are very similar to that font. In this case, though, I did find that font, and I downloaded it, and here it is. And now I can install it. I can right-click and then just say install. I just double-click on it and take a look at it. There it is, and install here. And now it's installed. I'll close this down. All right, back here in After Effects, you'll notice a couple of things. After Effects recognizes that you installed that new font. It shows up here inside the character panel. The square brackets are gone. But you notice the text hasn't changed. That's because the text is retaining the default font that was applied to it when you opened up this project. To change to the font that it's supposed to be, just select the text. To do that, just double click on the layer here that selects the text. Go up to the character panel. Notice now it has the square brackets because now it's looking at that original missing font down here at the bottom. Let's scroll up to where we have it alphabetically to the Academy Engrave there and click on that. And there is the new font. I'll click away now to accept that. Now I'll do Control or Command Z to undo it because we're going to close this thing down later anyways and not save the changes. Let's go back here and now look for missing effects. Back this up a bit here. There's missing effects. Click on that. And the one thing that has a missing effect is this comp. So I double click on it and it shows me that missing effect. It actually says missing here and it shows me that one missing effect. It's called BCC Watercolor. Well, that comes from a company called Boris Effects. This can happen frequently when you work with someone who works with After Effects, let's say in a different office than yours, and they have purchased some third-party effects or plugins, and you don't have those. Well, you can either buy them or try to find something that's similar. So BCC watercolor, that makes something look like it's a watercolor painting. 
We can go over to effects and maybe find something that might be similar to that. I would go over here, for example, and go on down to, let's say, stylize. And under stylize, I might be able to look for something like posterize. And it would be kind of like the watercolor effect, but not exactly. So I'll do Control or Command Z. Instead, I can go buy it, right? Or I can get a trial version, which is what I did. So I'll minimize this. And there is that folder where the trial version is. And there is that effect. To install, it's very simple. I'm going to right click here and say copy, or I can do Control or Command C. And I'm going to go to where After Effects is installed. So I've got a main drive here, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CC, Support Files, going down to Plugins, long ways to go, right? And Effects, and there are all the effects. I right click here and say Paste. And I'll say, yep, I've got administration privileges, and now I've added that to that group. I close that down. So back in After Effects, nothing has changed. That missing effect has not magically showed up here, but we'll take care of that in just a moment. So up to this point, we've found a missing font, a missing effect, and we've relinked to a missing asset. So what I want to do now is close down After Effects and not save this project. I don't want to save it for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want you to change the original file inside your Working Files folder. And two, I want to reopen it in its original state to show you what happens here on my computer. So I'm going to shut this guy down now. I'm not going to save it. And I want you to take care of something before I reopen this. Go to Working Files, go to Photo Spin Assets, and rename this guy to the proper name. Get rid of that hyphen and that changed. And now I'm going to open up that project file. And it'll look different on my computer than yours, probably because you have not tracked down that Boris effect, nor tracked down that font. But I'll show you what happens here if you do. So I'm going to go back to Working Files, and then go over to After Effects Projects, and then go on down here to Missing Fonts Effects. And let's see what happens. No messages. That's a good thing. The effect, let me go over here, is on this particular clip right there. Go to Effect Controls, and there is that effect now properly named and properly loaded up. I go back to the text over here, and I'll go down to the Character Panel here, and you see that it says Academy Engraved, but it has not shown up here yet. Kind of a little bit of an anomaly here, but we'll fix that. I'll just double click on this text layer to select it. Over here, I'll select something other than Academy Engraved, just the one right below it there. Now I'll go back to Academy Engraved by scrolling up to the top and clicking on that. And there we go, that made that change. And the linked asset, the abstract waves thing, is properly linked. So there you go, that's how you track down missing fonts, missing effects, and unlinked assets, and how you fix those issues.